All right, guys, so we are here for episode 17 of our 76ers My GM, and uh, today's video is another simulation video. We are going to be simulating pretty much all the way up to this January 2nd game against the Toronto Raptors. But what I did want to point out, I just hopped in, and I realized for some reason the game didn't count that we played in the last video. So uh, you saw all the game footage. I mean, I clearly played the game. I mean, there was, like, I recorded it for, like, 45 minutes, and it didn't save the game. But we still won anyways, and you guys got to see the footage of the game, but... Apparently didn't save it, so let's just go ahead and simcast this game. Uh, hopefully we can win, because I'm pretty pissed if we can't. Okay, we only won by two points. I thought we had it a little bit more, but anyways, we do get that game out of the way. You guys did suggest a whole bunch of things for me to do, including put up both Nerlens Noel and Buddy Heald. Seeing what we can get for him, see if we can get a really good shooting guard, such as CJ McCollum, someone of that. Uh, Jay Crowder, Kelly Olenek, not a terrible deal. I'm uh, looking for something a little bit better, though. Uh, if I see anything... Uh, Sabonis so and Miles Turner. I don't really want two big men coming back because I'm giving up our starting shooting guard. So you know what? I like the idea of possibly getting CJ McCollum. So if I can't work this out with you guys right here, I might go ahead and do that. Uh, did he stay on the Trailblazers? Yes, he did. Only a $3 million contract. Could I give you Buddy Heald as well? What's wrong with this? Must keep 13 players on the team. And could you give me a... a why the hell is Anthony Bennett on a four-year, $3 million per season deal? Okay, Portland. Okay. Uh, what do we need coming back to us? I feel like we could use another guard, kind of. I don't want Aaron Brooks, 31 years old. Alan Crabb, how much trade value does he have? All right. I, I would be perfectly fine getting Alan Crabb back. Uh, we might have to include a few picks in this deal unless it does work out, but I highly doubt it will. Let's see if this will they'll do this. All right. Let's give up. We have some pick picks. So, all right. Let's give up a couple of second round. Actually, no. Let's give up a few second rounders and a first round pick. All right, maybe they're not looking to do so, but honestly, this is the final season anyway, so I would be willing to give up all of this if they do want to, but if they don't, then I'm probably not going to do it, and yeah, they're not going to do it, so could I trade Finder McCollum? Uh, let me just see if I could get him. Is there anything you could offer me for him? And okay, so I guess we cannot get CJ McCollum, so you know what? I have to look for a deal for a better shooting guard, and once I make the deal, you guys will see it. All right, guys, so I'm going to bring in one of my favorite rookies from last season, or at least attempt to. Uh, by getting trying to get Devin Booker, we're going to give up Buddy Heald and Nerlens Noel. Nerlens Noel thought would fit the system a little bit better, but he's not liking being the backup power forward. And Buddy Heald, honestly, his tendencies are way too low. I would have rather kept him, but as you guys see, he's only effective when I actually play a game with him. There's only probably going to be like three, maybe four more games this season until the playoffs, and then this series is over. So let's try to get Devin Booker, and I have to get Gerald Green to make the contract work. So... Uh, let's see if they'll do this. They're probably not going to, but I am willing to give up a whole lot of picks for Devin Booker because Devin Booker is definitely worth the picks, and you know what? They do that. So at the end of the day, we do pick up a better shooting guard on the team, one with better tendencies. We get rid of Nerlens Noel, so no longer he is having to be our backup. Uh, this is frozen, so actually, no, it's not anymore. So Kemba Walker, Devin Booker, we kind of need a backup power forward at this point, but I mean, Rashawn Holmes getting eight minutes. Uh, maybe I can find something better. Just because we don't actually have a real power forward on the team right now, it's worth starting. I mean, obviously, we start LeBron at power forward, so there's no big deal there. But uh, Joffrey Lever is our backup center. We, we picked up Jared Green in the deal, too. He's not going to be a backup bad uh, backup, not a bad backup shooting guy. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's see if we can move Hollis Thompson, possibly, for a backup power forward. And that, uh, what? Uh, that has lost the locker room? No. Why would the fans be worried? Uh, it just made our team better. No problem there whatsoever. So could I? Why do I? I always hit my gym because I think that's the front office thing. So that's what it is in my league. So this team's really looking good right now. Uh, I feel like I moved who I wanted to move. Hollis Thompson and how about a first round pick? Give me a backup power forward that will not complain about actually being a backup and not a starter. Uh, Dougie McBuckets. Oh, I like Jordan Mickey. I like Jordan Mickey a lot. I'm probably gonna do that. Jordan Mickey. Jordan Mickey. Jordan Mickey is fun to play with. And he's a really good um, sim player, as honestly as like a 74 overall or whatever he was that I just saw. That I feel like all the moves we're going to probably make for the rest of the season, honestly. Uh, no problem there at all, really. Uh, let's see. He is getting 10 minutes. Uh, Rashawn Holmes just isn't going to get any. I'm going to give those to Mickey. This whole 16 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's change this to a 10-man rotation. Cut down on some of the minutes for our bad players. And nine minutes, no, not nine. Uh, small form. We're taking these away from Roberson just because Roberson isn't really performing that well. And give these all to Mickey because we need a good backup power forward. So no problems here whatsoever. We picked up some really good players to help us in the sim. Uh, I'm just going to say simply business. We're not going to get fired midway through the season. I hope not. Knock on wood. 
So now let's simulate all the way through this January 2nd game. I know this might be a little bit of a longer video. Uh, go to team status. Training, let's talk to you. All right, you know what, honestly, they, they can, st I don't care if they're mad, honestly. Like, they can all stew. I'm not trading any of them. They're all going to perform how they do. Um, Prove them wrong. I feel like, yeah, that gets everybody happy, so no problem there. If we, I swear to God, if we lose a game right here. All right, no. Shut up, Andre Roberson. Dude, he's such a bitch, honestly. Legit, like, you're, you're getting traded, like, if you don't shut up. Legit, it's so annoying. Uh, we are on a seven-game win streak. Uh, of course I say that and we lose to the Cleveland Cavaliers. But a seven-game win streak for this team is not bad at all. Sure. Sure. Uh, all right. Uh, offensive rebounding change to some crash and others get back. Defensive focus changes to protect the paint. And play physical defense for defensive regression. Uh, he says that like I didn't change anything. No comment whatsoever. I don't care about the press at all. Use global game plan. All right. We win anyway, so I guess it worked out in the end. Uh, we're still second in the Eastern Conference. That is looking good. Great trade offer, uh, Denver. Great trade offer. Thank you. I'd really like to do that. Uh, continuing the simulation, unless is, I don't know if it was like stopped for a second or something. Hell no, Zula Okafor should probably be on Untouchables. Uh, I might put up a couple players in Untouchables just because it is the final season and we reached level 27. So um, let's do. Yeah, this is important just in case trades suck. We beat the Brooklyn Nets not very hard. Big game against the Warriors, who we might face in the NBA Finals if we do get there. So uh, it's probably going to be like we have a game against Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green. Yeah, Klay Thompson. Let's see what he wants to change. Probably pr pr protect that perimeter. Uh, offensive rebounding. Some crash, others get back. Physical defense for defensive aggression. No problem there. We're still probably going to lose. Yeah, we lose by two points. Oh, that's kind of heartbreaking. But... At the end of the day, it's there. It's a good Warriors team, so no problem there. Honestly, at the end of the day. So what do we have? No, we were doing so well with injuries. I didn't even realize it. Oh, damn, Jordan Mickey's out. All right. He was day-to-day, -day, I think, I believe. Yeah, day-to-day -day sprain right ankle. So it looks like Rashawn Holmes is going to have to take those minutes from him. I still want an, a 10-man rotation. I wasn't changing my mind on that. I don't know why they auto-did that for me. Uh, two more games. Hopefully, Jordan Mickey can come back. All right, you know what? Let's just... I'm trading Andre Roberson. I'm done with him. He is ridiculous. Honestly, like, you're losing overalls because you, you're you not, like, starting. Like, really, a two-star trade value. Get out of here. I need someone who doesn't complain. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's not a bad deal. Or would I rather have Dougie McBuckets with what's his three-pointer? Legit. What is his three-pointer? Uh... Standing shot three, 86, 80. I feel like that should be higher. Dougie McBuckets drains threes. Give me a better small forward. I don't really want Bogdanovich. Uh, mm, you know what? You know what? Actually, he's not going to complain because he's 27. Roberson's only. Actually, never mind. That's not really too big of a difference. <sighs> maybe I don't trade him. Maybe I take Tyler Johnson. There's just a bunch of things I could maybe do. Kenneth Reed. What's. You know what? Let's get Kenneth Freed on the team. And then, yeah, let's get Kenneth Freed on the team. Executive decision. Jordan Mickey's hurt right now. I feel like that's a good decision. Kenneth Freed, the manimal. Good. He is the manimal, right? I, I believe he's the manimal. Uh, shit, did I not change the rotations? Uh, I might have to switch up the rotations. Shut up. God, it's so annoying when that happens. Uh, we have to do this rotation real quick. Yeah, rotation's looking good, even though Fareed's still not starting. But I don't have a problem with that. Uh, now we do have a good, solid backup power forward and a really good, solid backup center. Uh, honestly, this is good, though. I, I'm liking this rotation. Really improved the team today. Let's see if we can end it on a win against the Raptors. That would be good. Uh, can we do it? Uh, maybe, unless we have to use a global game plan or something. Why is LeBron complaining so much? Dude, honestly, he's not getting traded. No one in the world would start. Okay, cool. No one in the world would honestly start over you. Like, legit. Like, think about that. So, it's just so annoying. Come on. We have a good trainer, I feel like. All right, we end the series, or this video against the Raptors, and we end up picking up a win. I did see that. Sorry for a little bit of a longer video. I know the simulation videos are only like seven minutes, typically, this one. No. 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 Uh, okay, I'm not going to change positions. That hurts their uh, morales, but 
Jordan Mickey or Kenneth Freed's going to have to play the backup center position. So, honestly, no big deal there. I mean, Jordan Mickey's going to progress into a good player anyways. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We did make pretty much all the moves I think I want to make for this season. We got rid of Buddy Heal and his crappy tendencies. We got rid of New Orleans Noel's complaining ass. We got rid of Roberson's complaining ass. So, this team's looking so much better. I'll show you guys the roster one more time. We still have LeBron who's upset that we're trying to trade for someone to start over him. Because, honestly, yeah, someone would start over LeBron James in the NBA. Uh, but LeBron, Kemba Walker, Kenneth Reed, Devin Booker, who we did bring in. Great player, honestly. I think Devin Booker is going to be a star in the NBA one day. Uh, Jaleel Ogafor, Ben Simmons, we still do have. And then off the bench, we kind of have Gerald Green, Mickey McConnell, Rashawn Holmes, Kendall Marshall, Marcelo Huerta, and then Joffrey, who was hurt, who was a big part of that team when Jaleel Ogafor was hurt. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I should start to be posting Madden once it comes out. I'm going to be, I think, recording a video at midnight. So you might see two videos early at like probably two, maybe three in the morning, uh, honestly, once the game comes out. So if you guys are excited to see that, let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'm like, very excited for 2K17, so if this series doesn't like quite come out to a championship, I'm sorry. But I think I'm going to wait for my gym in 2K17. A bunch of you guys were asking me about this. You guys always ask me about this in the comments section. And I just think that a my gym is not the way to start out a new game, that especially it doesn't do as well on a channel. I know every YouTuber says they're not a view whore, but every YouTuber is a view whore, let's be real. Uh, but yep, yeah, so if you guys do want to see Madden 17, let me know once again. You guys are you're definitely going to see a few videos of that at least until unless they go bad. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.